Oh, very sad, that's the thing. We're going to change this up on it. It's well, well, leaking. I got all the new hardware and stuff, so. I got all new hardware. Um, got all new hardware. New gasket. And it's a modified kit on these bit part ones. So if you lift in, you need to change this plastic one, you need to lift the engine up uh, to get the filter out on them. So that part will kindly do you know, a new setup that um oh, that's a bit dangerous. Uh, so I bit part designed a new kit that you can basically get it, you need to cut the filter but the new one just goes in and then the sump kinda of holds it in place so Apart for that, save me any hassles. Well, any more hassles this car already given us, it won't go around a corner either. Um, so, once we get this all buttoned up and sealed in, we'll get the gearbox oil all topped up and checked. And then we'll start looking at that. It doesn't have any electronic control on the diff, so uh, on the rear diff, it's too old for that. So. To do the transfer box or the rear box. We'll see if we can maybe run a, a prop off it and see if we can narrow it down. Um, there is a lot of lash in the rear diff. Uh, so it is high up in the mileage as well, this one, so it's probably just knackered. So it's had a few quid spent on it, but it'll do these Land Rovers when we get to this age. This one's a 2005, so it's Getting on a bit. Right. Oh, that is a good piece. Hello there. Hello. What is happens? Oh. It's all happens. Oh, it's not ah, it seems to be me. Eh? You see, see, we got those uh, 30 talks pretty easily. I've got the cross member off. I don't think you need the cross member off, to be honest, but I've got it off. Um, it's easy enough, I mean, it's easy enough. So we have taken it off, so you can see up in there, already got one, you can get one through this hole, brilliant, so, um, and these ones up here as well, we need to get them out, so, we'll try and get them. So we'll see if we can get them off. So that's our new sump there, um, we had our new gasket, and we've got a filter as well, to put in, so we we'll have cleaned it out as well. I'll need to get that a wee clean as well, just make sure that's all good. <clears throat> it tells you give it a little clean, uh, get the thread holes, a little clean M6 tap. So I'll just clean them all out, sandpaper, and we'll get a little wipe, uh, just with some uh, brake cleaner on a bag. And then we'll get it all seated up, we'll have to get it all topped up, get it full of the oil. Um, and hopefully it'll be all good, hopefully it's better than my phone, which I've just dropped and smashed, so not good. But we'll soldier on. So we'll crack on, we'll get that at some point. Um, and we'll get the, get it all filled up, get the hotel on it, um, get it fired up again, and we'll just see um, what it's doing. So hopefully we can sort this for wheel drive issue. We've ran all the brakes off on it, make sure there's no restrictions anywhere. Just so we can spin the wheels freely um, on it, see where the restrictions are. Um, see what's happening with it basically, but so far, uh, we need to start getting this, we're doing the, we're doing the something now, sorry. And then we'll crack on with the rest. Okay, so you can see why, even though this has been leaking for God knows how long, um, it wouldn't hold oil. So you can see why, you can see the filter tube up there. You can see that's not ready to get out of here. So what we do is we cut it and then you know, we can get the new one in. The new one yeah, is two halves, so the filter separate to the sump. There's this one, it's part of the sump, so that's why we need to uh, either lift the engine up or put this bit part uh, sump kit on it. So we put the bit part sump kit on it. Um, and then we'll get it all tight, all, all, all oil tight, and then we can start seeing about this. We'll drive us sure, see what we can figure out with that. Never easy. So, new filters in, um, gasket's all prepared. Got hardware in our joiner pocket. Then we'll get it all buttoned up. Get it all tickety boo. Hey, see, see what I've did? I've just put a couple of cable ties in just to get the couple of bolts in, get the gasket in place, 
and we'll cut the the ties. That is super clean. You don't need any. Don't need any silicon on it. Yeah, it doesn't tell you put any on it, so I'm not going to bother. So and I don't like silicon in these kind of gear boxes anyway, guys. Uh, to be honest with you, it's, I'd imagine silicon would make a right mess in that. You know. So we'll keep it nice and clean. We'll do it the way it's meant to be done. We've got all these bolts in as many as we can, then we'll cut those cable ties. We will be very careful just not to nick a gasket uh, on the way out. So just be careful running these bolts and we'll run them all in. I'll do what I always do, start in the middle, work my way out. So, just like you're doing a head gasket really, just kind of start from the middle, work your way out. Um, and then just do the final torque on them. And then the last pass. And I did clean all the bolt holes like the instructions says. So I hope there is enough ticket to do now. Get the rest of the hardware in. But when I seen these on uh, eBay, that somebody was at it, man. At it. But this special transfer box oil. Uh, and I knew this. I, I knew that this was difficult to get. Uh, I just didn't think it was so difficult to get that it was only Land Rover I could get it from. So aye, so I like the colour of that, aye, you can clearly see it. It's stop the pack that's leaking, I know. I wonder if somebody's opened that before, that one's leaking. And a very sad disco. And there's this very sad sump, and there's the shit that came at it. So look at the colour of that, man. So, black. And it'll get a hint of red in it. So I would suggest it's maybe had the wrong stuff put in it at some point. So we'll get the right stuff in it and see what it does. No idea if it'll make any difference to it, but we need to try. So you can just see how minging that is. So we'll get that plug in the bin now. So we've got a big sad disco going. Just put the world's most expensive uh, transfer box oil on it. Let's see what faults we get coming back. Yeah, she's going through the systems. There's lots of them in the Land Rover. So what we are hoping for is uh, no faults in transfer box. Um, nearly there. Right, so before what we had was uh, Clutch position stuck. Uh, before that, we couldn't talk to this. We couldn't talk to the transfer case module, which is up under the dash under there. That was full of grease. We cleaned all that. Managed to get communication with it again, um, and then we had a, a clutch position stuck uh, fault code. So we put our motor on it. We'll get rid of that code. The motor is on it just for donor uh, at the minute. So we've refilled all the, we've did the gearbox sump on it as well, we've refilled all that with oil, we've still to get some oil in there, we've still got two litres still to put in it, we can't get it to, uh, we, can't, we can't get the vehicle to uh, basically drive because of this uh, transfer box fault, so, right, so we've cleared all the bolts out there, we're going to try and recalibrate everything on it and we'll see how that goes, um, fingers crossed, fingers crossed guys. Right, so, Hopefully we've got in its service because we couldn't find it in there and we found transmission control module adaption clearing. We've got the transfer case first. Uh, uh, motor replacement. So I'll just try all this. See if it does. See what we have. And yeah, we've heard that a big clunk there from the transfer box, so hopefully that's a good sign. Make sure that the ignition is turned on. It is. Make sure that the gear is in neutral, apart from because on. Press OK. Oh, about range change, that's what we want to bonus for you. It's like it's been stuck in low range. 
So, okay, so that's failed. And uh, so, sure. right, we'll try again. Not seen the light a day in God knows how long, man. The big dust. So hopefully we'll turn shad face into a happy face. Sorry, my drawing's not the best, but we're going to give it a little. Let's see if it'll actually drive now. So, we've got no faults. Right. No faults. It's not flashing up telling us that this isn't flashing away. This was all flashing before. It's in high range now. It's been recalibrated. It's still, once we start driving it, it's still going to be learning. So we need to go and drive. And fingers crossed, it drives and it moves. Look at that propulsion. Right, so everything is relearned on the very sad disco. Um, now it's ready for a wheel alignment, I believe. Now it's now ready for a wheel alignment. This is what the customer was told, just need a wheel alignment. Um, once we'd done the sump on the gearbox, we couldn't even get the car to go in a straight line, never mind around a corner. So you basically, you start it up, you, you try to get the gear, you know, get the, the, the gears to get the gearbox to run through all the gears so we can get the amount of vitamin oil that goes into it. Um, but it wouldn't go past third gear because it just kept grabbing the wheels on. So you could see the back ones were going like clappers, front ones just kept grabbing. Um, so there loads of issues with transfer box, we eventually worked our way through them. Um, so we're now at the stage now where we've managed to drain the transfer box completely, and we all seen how sinking that fluid was. Um, it was really bad. So. Um, we've replaced that as well, like we said, the world's most expensive uh, transfer box oil, but needs must. So here we're in hard lock. There's no grabbing, there's no banging. I put my wipers on actually. I'm very dirty in the window. I do still have a, an incorrect gear ratio fault code for the gearbox which won't go away, I don't have any lights on or anything like that there is a load of fault codes still in it and as you can see the steering wheel needs alignment but we're going up to this junction here just make sure there's nothing coming no maniacs going like the clappers right, I think they're stopped so we'll try and get it as hard a lock as we can so that's that on a full lock Full lock, full lock, full lock, full lock, that's two big turns, no big clatter and bangs. Um, so, I think, now we really, it's driving terribly, I mean really terribly, I did move all the suspension arms on it, I could see that where they were, whoever had put them on, they weren't where the old ones were. So I've put them back as close as I can get them um, and now it's going to need a realignment on it now. So you've just all seen that there, the car, it would not drive in a straight line. So it went on the, on the ramp, steering straight, steering wheel straight on it, uh, it was just bang, 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 arr, you hear all this grinding and, and stuff going away on it. So we have calibrated, we're going to, we are going to calibrate the steering angle sensor, we're not going to bother um, at the minute because I'm just going to try and cancel that. Uh, just take it here and see if we can force it to stop. So I'm not going to do that again because it's it needs the the, the steering's all over the place and you have a bump in the road and the cars uh, the cars going crazy, man. So the cars are all over the road. So, but what what the fault has been that, that's been stopping it has been that first of all we couldn't talk to the transfer case module. Um, then when we could talk to it, there was a fault with the, the transfer clutch motor, so the position motor that does this. So and on here we had a, a green light flashing away like a maniac. Um, a bit like man, brilliant, brilliant guys, absolutely brilliant. The one fault code that we could not get rid of um, was a clutch at a transfer box clutch at its limit um, so with the new oil and all that in it um, I, I did film the recalibration I did another calibration on it and you could really hear it banging away and um, I had to actually tell it it had a new a whole new transfer case on it 
um, and that seems to fix it. So yep, happy days. So the world's most expensive oil, a new motor, cleaned all the transfer case module. We basically worked through every fault on on this thing, um, and you, as you can see, there's still faults on it. Um, it's got faults with EGR. It's intermittently flashing up as well. There's a low coolant level, which the box full, so there's also a, a bad sensor there. So, but I'm really pleased there that I have managed to get rid of. Uh, that uh, that fault with that transfer case so i happy days on the sad disco i think now we can draw the smiley face on it we just need to get the the steering right on it i will need to get this i maybe take this down to fast fit actually to be honest with you um and, and ask them to have a look at the the suspension on the mot ramp because there's something seriously not right somewhere um aye, it's all over the road but steering wheel sitting away around there that's not what's been causing it. Steering angle sensor can cause these kind of faults, to be honest with you on them, but that has not what's been causing it. What has been causing it is that uh, clutch at its limit. And if you look into that online, guys, you, you will find there has been people out there with the same kind of scenario. Um, and then you can be lucky like we have been here. Um, although we have put a motor on it, that, that was saying the clutch position, uh, that the motor was stuck, basically. So uh, we've put another motor on it as well. So, but. It's basically, I think what's happened is, is the actual clutch has been locked up, it's been stuck. I mean, we've seen the oil that was in it. The oil was absolutely black, burnt to death, and I, I actually don't believe it's been the right stuff that's been in it. So, we yeah, are really pleased with that. So, I think my, my smiley faces have been washed away, but that's all good. So, now we're on to that one, which has some buff pipes. So, yeah. Again, the full lock. I just like going full lock in it now. I'm going to do all that banging. Oh, there we go. Oh, we all should have did. Oh, there's a land over, guys. This is the bottom of this machine. 